Hundreds gathered today at the state house with one message in mind. So we are just here to tell the Ohio legislature that we're demanding bodily autonomy and the right to abortion access. But opponents of abortion say they're fighting for the unborn. Thanks for joining us at 5. I'm Andrew Kinsey. And I'm Yolanda Harris. Tomorrow, lawmakers in the Ohio Senate will attempt to ban abortion in our state. It's called the Human Rights Protection Act, also known as Senate Bill 123. 10 TV's Kevin Landers live at the State House to explain why this bill is getting a lot of attention right now. Kevin. Well, good evening. This bill is similar to the one that Texas just passed. If SB 123 passes, it would trigger an automatic abortion ban if the U.S. Supreme Court overturns Roe v. Wade. More than 100 pro-choice supporters rallied inside the Ohio State House atrium and outside the Senate chambers to protest an Ohio bill that would ban abortions in Ohio. I believe the abortion bans are wrong and that every person who's going that that gets pregnant has the right to do what they want with their bodies and that's a decision that they should make with their doctors and that no lawmakers should get involved with that. Senate lawmakers will hear testimony on SB 123 on Wednesday. The legislation is a ban on abortions which would take effect when the United States Supreme Court overturns Roe v. Wade and would allow for wrongful death civil action against a physician or anyone who performs an abortion. The legislation would apply felony penalties to abortionists while also providing immunity for women upon whom illegal abortions are performed. If our trigger ban passes, at that point, abortion would be illegal in Ohio. State Senators Christina Rogner, a Republican from Hudson, and Sandra O'Brien, a Republican from Ashtabula, are co-sponsors of the bill and both declined interviews. <laughs> Pro-choice supporters argue banning abortion deprives one of their constitutional rights. Pro-life supporters believe a conservative U.S. Supreme Court will lean towards overturning Roe v. Wade, a landmark decision that made abortion legal 48 years ago. Now, it's, it is unlikely that an immediate legal challenge would be placed to try to stop SB 123 because it won't actually take effect unless the Supreme Court decides to overturn Roe v. Wade. Now, the Senate Health Committee begins at 9.30 tomorrow morning, and it's the second item on the agenda. Reporting live from the State House, Kevin Landers, 10 TV News. Kevin, thank you. Now, the group Ohio Right to Life responded to today's demonstration with a quote that reads in part, the pro-life movement rejects the idea that women must choose between themselves and their babies. We deserve better than the abortion industry's lies that we are not enough. Women are strong and we don't need abortion to prove it.